Welcome back everybody. Moving on with quadratic equations. We're told that a show sells 300 tickets for $12 each. For every 30 cent decrease in price, 10 more people will attend. What price per ticket should the show charge to make revenue of $3,567? So this type of question, we have to make a revenue function. And we know revenue is equal to what? Price per item times the number of items. In this case, we're dealing with tickets, so the number of tickets, but this is the general formula. Price, actually let's write per item times number of items. So currently, the price per ticket is $12 and the number of tickets being sold is 300. Now we're further told that for every 30 cent decrease in price, 10 more people will attend. So let's introduce a variable here. Let's say we let X equal the number of 30 cent decreases in price. So notice that this here is in dollars, $12. So 30 cents in dollars is $0.3. So this would be minus 0.3x, right? We're decreasing the price x number of times by 30 cents or $0.3. And for every 30 cent decrease in price, 10 more people will attend. So this would be plus 10x. So if we decrease the price by 60 cents, so x would be 2, then 20 more people are going to attend, 20 times 2, and so on and so on. So this here is your revenue function. And they are asking us what price per ticket should be charged in order to get a revenue of 3,567. So what we would do is we would plug in 3,567 for the revenue. And then we can just solve for x. This is just an equation now. We can expand everything, bring it over to one side, either factor or use the quadratic formula. Now, one thing I want to mention is this question is similar to other revenue questions we've done. But usually what they've been asking us before is to find the maximum revenue. So we're not plugging in every... Uh, anything for R in those cases, we are expanding this and completing the square, or you can uh, find the intercepts and then find that max vertex that way as well. So basically, in those questions when they're asking you for the maximum revenue, they're asking for the vertex of this function. And then depending on if they're asking for the ticket price or the number of items, you plug in that X value of the vertex in these brackets. But in this case, they're giving us a specific revenue. So we have to plug that revenue in here, and then we have to solve for x. We're not finding the max, we are solving for x. So just make a note of the differences between questions before dealing with revenue in this chapter and this question here. So to solve this now, we're just simply going to expand this, bring this over. So we'll have 12 times 300, which is 3,600. Uh, 12 times 10x gives us 120x. Negative 0.3x times 300, that gives us negative 90x. Um, and then negative 0.3x times 10x gives us negative 3x squared. And 3,567 is on the uh, left side. So here we'll have 3,600, uh, this would be 30x, this would be minus 3x squared, this 3,567 is still here. Um, let's actually bring everything over to the left side, just because this is a negative 3x squared, and I always like to usually have the leading coefficient be positive, but either way works. But uh, yeah, personally, I'm going to bring everything over to the left side. So continuing this up here, 
this would come over, so it would be 3x squared, positive 3x squared. This 30x would come over, so that would be minus 30x. And then uh, 3,567 minus 3,600, that would give us negative 33. And that would equal zero. There would be nothing left on that right side. So we have a quadratic equation here. You can uh, throw that into the quadratic formula if you like. I think this is actually going to factor smoothly. So let's take out a three. So we would have um, x squared minus uh, 10x minus 11. This is going to equal zero. So three, this would be x minus 11. This would be x plus one equals zero. Then from here, x is 11 or x is negative one. And what does x represent? Well, x represents the number of 30 cent decreases in price. So notice this x value negative one, we would ignore, right? X has to be positive always. So we're gonna have 11 30 cent decreases in price in order to get this revenue of 3,567. So um, I'm gonna erase this here. Question is asking us, what price per ticket should the show charge? And this bracket is the uh, price per ticket bracket. So we would plug in this X value of 11 into this bracket. So 12 minus 0 0.3 times 11, that's like 12 minus $3 and uh, 30 cents, which is $8 and 70 cents. So that's the price per ticket that should be charged. And then to check your answer, you could plug in this X value of 11 here. That's the number of tickets that, that are gonna be sold. So 300 plus 10 times 11 is a 300 plus 110, which is 410 tickets. And you could actually check your answer. 410 times 8.7 should give you the revenue that you're looking for, 3,567. That's how you know you got the correct answer. So overall, final answer to this question, the price per ticket that the show should charge to make revenue of 3,567, $8.70. Remember, it's not this answer here that is the number of decreases in price. You gotta plug that in to that ticket bracket and you get $8.70 as your final answer.